Lead Like a Quality Man, The Ten Pillars of Masculine Leadership by Life Success. Introduction. In the heart of every man lies the potential for great leadership. Lead Like a Quality Man, The Ten Pillars of Masculine Leadership is a journey towards unlocking that potential. In a world that often equates leadership with authority and power, this book redefines what it means to be a leader. It's about leading with integrity, compassion, and resilience. It's about being a beacon of strength, not just for oneself, but for others. This book is a call to action for all men who aspire to lead, not by dominance, but through inspiration and example. Within these pages lies a path to discover the essence of masculine leadership. Each chapter unfolds a pillar essential in shaping a leader who is not only successful in achieving goals, but also influential in making a positive impact. This is leadership that balances the firmness of decision-making with the grace of empathy, the courage to face challenges with the wisdom to learn from them. As you navigate through the chapters, you will encounter stories, strategies, and reflections that will challenge and inspire you. You will be prompted to look within and evaluate your own journey, your values, and your vision as a leader. This book is designed not just to impart knowledge, but to provoke thought and incite action. Lead Like a Quality Man is for every man who holds a vision for himself and for the world around him. It is for those who are willing to step up, take responsibility, and make a difference. Whether you are leading a team, an organization, or just yourself, the principles in this book are universal and timeless. Embark on this journey with an open mind and a willing heart. The path to becoming a quality man and an exceptional leader is challenging, rewarding, and profoundly transformative. Your journey starts now, and the world awaits the impact of your leadership. Embrace your potential and lead like the quality man you are destined to be. Chapter 1 the essence of integrity. Step into the world of leadership with a fundamental understanding that integrity is your cornerstone. In this chapter, you embark on a journey to explore the profound impact of integrity in shaping a leader's path. Here, integrity isn't just a concept, it's the lifeblood of effective, authentic leadership. Integrity is about aligning your actions with your words, ensuring that your decisions are guided by a strong moral compass. It's the courage to stand by your principles, even in the face of adversity. This chapter delves into the significance of making choices that are not only right, but are also reflective of your core values. Explore how integrity extends beyond mere honesty. It encompasses consistency in your behavior, transparency in your dealings, and a steadfast commitment to doing what is right. It's about building trust with those you lead, earning respect not through authority, but through your actions and character. Leading by example is a vital aspect of integrity. Your actions set a tone for those around you, influencing the culture of your organization. Learn how to model the values and behaviors you expect from others, demonstrating that leadership is as much about character as it is about strategy. Reflect on your own values and how they align with your leadership style. Understand how to maintain ethical standards in challenging situations, making decisions that not only advance your goals, but also uphold the highest standards of integrity. Build the foundation of your leadership. Integrity is not a trait you simply possess, it's a practice that you live out every day. It's the guiding light that shapes your decisions, influences your relationships, and defines your legacy as a leader. Embrace this journey with an open heart and mind, let the essence of integrity be your guide, shaping you into a leader who is not just successful, but also respected and revered. Your path of leadership grounded in integrity begins now. Here are three practical exercises designed to deepen your understanding and practice of integrity in leadership. Exercise 1. Values Clarification Objective. Identify and solidify your core personal values. 1. Reflection. Take some quiet time to reflect on moments in your life when you felt proud, fulfilled, or deeply satisfied. What were you doing? Who were you with? What values were you upholding during these times? 2. List your values. Based on your reflection, list out the values that you realize are important to you. These could include honesty, loyalty, respect, compassion, or fairness. 3. Prioritize. From your list, 
Choose the top five values that resonate most with you. These are your core values. Four, action plan. For each core value, write down one way you will demonstrate this value in your daily life, especially in your role as a leader. Five, review. At the end of each week, reflect on how well you upheld these values. Note any challenges you faced and how you might better align with your values in the future. Exercise two, ethical decision-making role play. Objective, practice making decisions that align with your integrity. One, scenario building, create or find ethical dilemmas related to leadership. These should be scenarios where the right choice isn't immediately clear and involves a conflict of values. Two, considerations, for each scenario, list the possible actions you could take. Consider the pros and cons of each action, especially in terms of how they align with your core values. 3. Decision-making. Choose the action that best aligns with your values, even if it's the harder choice. 4. Reflection. Reflect on your decision. How did it make you feel? What might be the long-term implications of this decision on your integrity and leadership? 5. Feedback. If possible, discuss your decisions with a mentor or peer for feedback and perspective. Exercise 3. Integrity Journal. Objective. Maintain ongoing self-awareness and commitment to personal integrity. 1. Daily Entries. At the end of each day, write a journal entry reflecting on your actions and decisions. 2. Alignment Check. Assess whether your actions for the day aligned with your core values. Be honest with yourself. 3. Learning points. Note any instances where you fell short of your values. Reflect on what led to these situations and how you could handle them differently in the future. 4. Gratitude and recognition. Acknowledge and express gratitude for any moments where you successfully upheld your values, especially in challenging situations. 5. Weekly review. At the end of each week, review your journal entries to identify patterns, growth areas, and strengths in your practice of integrity. Through these exercises, you will not only become more aware of your core values, but also learn how to integrate them into your daily leadership practice. This ongoing practice is essential for developing and maintaining integrity as a foundational aspect of your leadership style. Chapter 2. Empathy the Leader's Compass Delve into the heart of empathetic leadership, recognizing that empathy is far more than an adjunct skill. It is a core element that significantly transforms your leadership approach. As a leader, embrace empathy as your tool for forging deeper connections, understanding diverse perspectives, and effectively motivating your team. It is the essence of a leadership style that is not only respected but deeply valued. Empathy in leadership is about truly understanding and sharing the feelings of others. It involves a profound connection that transcends basic comprehension of situations. It's about feeling with people, not just for them. We guide you to see empathy as more than sympathy or a mere understanding. It's about a deeper, more meaningful connection with your team. Understand how empathy strengthens the fabric of your team. Empathetic leadership enhances communication, improves team dynamics, and creates a work environment brimming with support and engagement. Empathy allows you to not just lead, but also to connect, building a foundation of trust and mutual respect. The role of empathy in decision-making is pivotal. Explore how empathetic considerations lead to decisions that are not only logical, but also compassionate. It's a balance that yields inclusive, fair, and impactful outcomes, reflecting a leadership style that values the emotional and personal aspects of professional life. Reflect on your own emotional experiences and understanding, as it is vital in developing empathy. Cultivate self-awareness, a key step in understanding and sharing the emotions of others. It's about recognizing your empathetic strengths and areas for growth. Empathy flourishes with intentional practice and genuine concern for others. Integrating empathy into your leadership style creates an environment where everyone feels understood and valued, enhancing motivation and commitment. Embrace the journey of becoming an empathetic leader. Let empathy guide your interactions, decisions, and leadership path. Remember, empathy is not just a trait of good leadership. It's the hallmark of great leadership. 
Your journey to deepening your empathetic leadership starts now. Here are three engaging exercises designed to enhance your empathetic skills in leadership. Exercise 1. The Empathy Mapping Session Objective. Develop a deeper understanding of your team members' perspectives and feelings. 1. Select a team member. Choose a member of your team whom you want to understand better. 2. Empathy Map Creation. Draw a simple map with sections labeled Thoughts, Feelings, Needs, and Challenges. 3. Fill the map. Based on your interactions and observations, fill in each section. What might they be thinking? Feeling? What do they need and what challenges are they facing? 4. Reflect and plan. Reflect on the completed map. How does this new understanding inform your approach to this person? Plan one or two specific actions you can take to better support or engage with them based on this insight. 5. Follow up. After implementing your actions, reflect on any changes in your relationship or their performance. Exercise 2. The Listening Challenge. Objective. Sharpen your active listening skills to enhance empathy. 1. Daily Goal. Set a goal to have at least one significant, undistracted conversation per day where your primary focus is to listen. 2. Active Listening Techniques. In each conversation, practice active listening. This includes maintaining eye contact, nodding, using affirmations like, I see, and avoiding interruptions. 3. Summarize and clarify. At the end of the conversation, summarize what you've heard and ask clarifying questions to ensure you've understood correctly. 4. Reflect. After the conversation, take a moment to reflect. How well did you understand their perspective? Did you learn anything new about them? 5. Consistency. Aim to make this a regular practice in your daily interactions. Exercise 3. Role Reversal Scenarios. Objective. Gain empathy by seeing situations from another person's viewpoint. 1. Scenario Selection. Choose a recent workplace scenario involving a decision, conflict, or challenge. 2. Role Reversal. Put yourself in the shoes of another person involved in the scenario. Try to adopt their perspective as fully as possible. 3. Write or speak their perspective. Write down or verbally express how this person might have viewed the situation. What were their concerns, motivations, and feelings? 4. Discussion. If possible, discuss your thoughts with the person you role reversed with to gain further insight. This can be done informally or as part of a feedback session. 5. Insight Application. Reflect on how this exercise might change your approach to similar situations in the future. What new strategies or communications might you employ? By regularly practicing these exercises, you will gradually enhance your empathetic skills. Empathy, like any skill, grows stronger with use. These exercises will help you foster a deeper connection with your team, leading to a more harmonious and productive workplace. Chapter 3 Responsibility The Weight of Leadership Step into the realm of responsibility, a critical facet of your leadership journey. Here, responsibility is not just a duty, it's an honor and a privilege. It's about embracing the weight of your decisions and the impact they have on your team, organization, and community. This chapter guides you to understand that true leadership involves more than just making decisions. It's about taking ownership of those decisions and their outcomes, whether they lead to success or present new challenges. Responsibility in leadership means being accountable not only for your actions but also for those of your team. It's about standing in the forefront, ready to take the accolades when things go well and willing to accept the lessons when they don't. Learn how to cultivate a sense of responsibility that permeates every aspect of your leadership, encouraging a similar sense of ownership and accountability in your team. Explore the power of leading with responsibility. It's about making informed decisions, considering the broader impact of your actions, and always aiming for ethical and sustainable outcomes. Your approach to responsibility can significantly influence the culture of your organization fostering an environment of trust, integrity, and high standards. Understand the importance of transparent communication in responsible leadership. It's not just about communicating the what and the how, but also the why behind your decisions and actions. 
This level of openness not only builds trust, but also helps your team understand the bigger picture, encouraging their buy-in and engagement. Reflect on how you handle responsibility in various situations. Recognize that every challenge is an opportunity to demonstrate your commitment to responsible leadership. It's about being a role model, showing resilience in the face of adversity, and always striving to make decisions that are not just beneficial, but also right and just. Embrace the journey of being a responsible leader. Remember, the way you handle responsibility shapes not only your leadership style, but also the perception and performance of your entire team. It's a path filled with learning, growth, and an opportunity to make a positive and lasting impact. Your journey to becoming a leader who embodies the essence of responsibility starts now. Here are three engaging exercises to enhance and practice your resilience as a leader. Exercise 1. Resilience Reflection Objective. Reflect on past challenges to identify resilience strategies. 1. Identify a challenge. Think of a significant challenge you faced in the past, either personally or professionally. 2. Analyze your response. Reflect on how you responded to this challenge. What emotions did you feel? What actions did you take? How did you cope with the stress? 3. Identify resilience factors. Pinpoint what helped you overcome this challenge. Was it support from others, a particular mindset, specific actions, or personal strengths? 4. Apply to the future. Considering what you learned, write down how you can apply these resilience factors to future challenges. Create a resilience action plan for yourself. 5. Share and discuss. If comfortable, share your reflections with a mentor or peer. Discussing resilience experiences can provide new insights and strengthen your strategies. Exercise 2. The Stress Diary Objective. Understand and manage your stressors to build emotional resilience. 1. Record stressors. For one week, keep a diary of moments when you feel stressed. Note the situation, your reaction, and how you dealt with it. 2. Analyze patterns. After a week, review your diary. Look for patterns in what triggers your stress and how you respond. 3. Develop coping strategies. For each stressor, develop a healthier coping strategy. This might include deep breathing, taking a short walk, or reframing the situation in a more positive light. 4. Implement and reflect. Over the next week, implement these new coping strategies. Reflect daily on how these changes are affecting your stress levels and overall well-being. Exercise 3. The Adaptability Scenario Objective. Enhance your adaptability, a key component of resilience. 1. Create a scenario. Imagine a hypothetical but plausible challenging scenario at work. For example, a key team member leaving suddenly or a project deadline being drastically moved up. 2. Brainstorm solutions. Write down all possible ways you could adapt to this scenario. Focus on creative and flexible solutions. 3. Evaluate responses. Look at your solutions and evaluate their feasibility and potential impact. Which solutions are most practical and effective? 4. Seek feedback. Discuss your scenario and solutions with a colleague or mentor. Gain their perspective and additional ideas. 5. Reflect on adaptability. Reflect on this exercise to understand how you can become more adaptable in real-life situations. Consider what mindsets and resources helped you devise solutions. By regularly engaging in these exercises, you will strengthen your resilience muscle, preparing you for the inevitable challenges of leadership and life. Remember, resilience is not an innate trait, but a skill developed through practice and perseverance. Chapter 4 Resilience Bouncing Back Stronger In this chapter, immerse yourself in the vital leadership quality of resilience. Resilience in leadership is not just about enduring challenges, it's about using them as stepping stones to emerge stronger and more insightful. Here, resilience is seen as a dynamic force that propels you forward, enabling you to navigate the complexities and uncertainties of leadership with grace and strength. Resilience is about maintaining your composure and focus amidst chaos and uncertainty. 
It involves adapting to change, overcoming obstacles, and seeing failures not as setbacks but as valuable learning experiences. This chapter helps you understand how to build your resilience muscle, equipping you with strategies to stay grounded and focused even in turbulent times. Discover the importance of a positive mindset in fostering resilience. Learn how to cultivate an outlook that sees challenges as opportunities for growth and development. It's about embracing change, staying flexible in your approach, and maintaining a positive attitude even when things don't go as planned. Developing emotional resilience is also key. This involves managing your emotions effectively, maintaining a sense of calm and optimism, and not allowing setbacks to diminish your enthusiasm and drive. You'll explore techniques for emotional regulation and how to maintain a balanced perspective in the face of adversity. Understand the role of a supportive network in enhancing resilience. No leader is an island, and having a strong support system be it mentors, peers, or a dedicated team is crucial in building and sustaining resilience. This chapter guides you on how to nurture these relationships and leverage them for mutual support and encouragement. Reflect on your own experiences of resilience in your leadership journey. Recognize the times you have bounced back from challenges and what these experiences have taught you. Each challenge faced and overcome is a testament to your growing resilience as a leader. Embrace the journey of becoming a resilient leader. Understand that your ability to adapt, recover, and learn from difficulties is a key determinant of your success and longevity in leadership. Your path to cultivating and mastering resilience begins now, setting the stage for a leadership style marked by strength, adaptability, and unwavering determination. Here are three engaging exercises to enhance and practice your resilience as a leader. Exercise 1. Resilience Reflection Objective. Reflect on past challenges to identify resilient strategies. 1. Identify a challenge. Think of a significant challenge you faced in the past, either personally or professionally. 2. Analyze your response. Reflect on how you responded to this challenge. What emotions did you feel? What actions did you take? How did you cope with the stress? 3. Identify resilience factors. Pinpoint what helped you overcome this challenge. Was it support from others, a particular mindset, specific actions, or personal strengths? 4. Apply to the future. Considering what you learned, write down how you can apply these resilience factors to future challenges. Create a resilience action plan for yourself. 5. Share and discuss. If comfortable, share your reflections with a mentor or peer. Discussing resilience experiences can provide new insights and strengthen your strategies. Exercise 2. The Stress Diary Objective. Understand and manage your stressors to build emotional resilience. 1. Record stressors. For one week, keep a diary of moments when you feel stressed. Note the situation, your reaction, and how you dealt with it. 2. Analyze patterns. After a week, review your diary. Look for patterns in what triggers your stress and how you respond. 3. Develop coping strategies. For each stressor, develop a healthier coping strategy. This might include deep breathing, taking a short walk, or reframing the situation in a more positive light. 4. Implement and reflect. Over the next week, implement these new coping strategies. Reflect daily on how these changes are affecting your stress levels and overall well-being. Exercise 3. The Adaptability Scenario Objective. Enhance your adaptability, a key component of resilience. 1. Create a scenario. Imagine a hypothetical but plausible challenging scenario at work. For example, a key team member leaving suddenly or a project deadline being drastically moved up. 2. Brainstorm solutions. Write down all possible ways you could adapt to this scenario. Focus on creative and flexible solutions. 3. Evaluate responses. Look at your solutions and evaluate their feasibility and potential impact. Which solutions are most practical and effective? 4. Seek feedback. Discuss your scenario and solutions with a colleague or mentor. Gain their perspective and additional ideas. 5. Reflect on adaptability. 
Reflect on this exercise to understand how you can become more adaptable in real-life situations. Consider what mindsets and resources helped you devise solutions. By regularly engaging in these exercises, you will strengthen your resilience muscle, preparing you for the inevitable challenges of leadership and life. Remember, resilience is not an innate trait, but a skill developed through practice and perseverance. Chapter 5. Visionary Thinking Leading with Foresight In this chapter, journey into the realm of visionary thinking, a crucial aspect of transformative leadership. Visionary thinking is not confined to grand, far-reaching ideas. It's about seeing beyond the immediate, understanding the bigger picture, and inspiring others towards a shared future. As a leader, embracing visionary thinking means being a beacon of innovation, guiding your team through the present towards a better and more successful future. Develop the art of seeing the unseen. Cultivate the ability to look ahead, anticipate trends, and understand emerging needs. This forward-thinking approach is about crafting a compelling vision that not only aligns with your organization's goals, but also resonates with and motivates your team. Learn to articulate your vision in a way that inspires action. It's about painting a vivid picture of what could be, turning abstract ideas into clear, attainable goals. Communicate your vision with passion and clarity, making it a rallying point that drives collective effort and enthusiasm. Visionary leadership also involves fostering an environment where creativity and innovation thrive. Encourage your team to think creatively, to question the status quo, and to explore new possibilities. It's about building a culture where innovative ideas are valued and taking calculated risks is seen as a necessary step towards growth and success. Reflect on your own leadership journey and how visionary thinking has played a role in it. Consider the visions you have held and how they have evolved. Recognize that being a visionary leader is a continuous process of learning, adapting, and inspiring. Embrace your role as a visionary leader. It's a journey that requires courage, creativity, and an unwavering belief in the possibility of a better future. Your path to becoming a leader who not only sees the future, but also helps create it begins now. Let visionary thinking be your guide and lead the way to new horizons. Here are three exercises designed to enhance your skills in visionary thinking and leadership. Exercise 1. Vision Casting Workshop Objective. Develop and refine your personal or organizational vision. 1. Brainstorming Session Allocate a quiet time for brainstorming. Reflect on questions like, what do I want to achieve in the next five years? Or, what impact do I want my organization to have on the world? 2. Drafting a vision statement. Using your brainstorming notes, draft a vision statement. It should be inspiring, clear, and reflect your long-term objectives. 3. Feedback loop. Share your vision statement with trusted colleagues, mentors, or friends. Seek their input to refine and strengthen the statement. 4. Visualization. Create a vision board or a visual representation of your vision statement. This can include images, words, or symbols that encapsulate your vision. 5. Reflection and revision. Regularly revisit and revise your vision statement as needed. Ensure it stays relevant and inspiring. Exercise 2. Future Scenario Planning Objective. Enhance your ability to anticipate and plan for future trends and scenarios. 1. Research emerging trends. Identify and research key trends that could impact your industry or field in the future. 2. Scenario Development. Develop several scenarios based on these trends. Imagine how they could unfold and affect your organization. 3. Strategic Responses For each scenario, brainstorm potential strategic responses. Consider both opportunities and challenges. 4. Plan Creation Choose one scenario and develop a detailed plan for how you would navigate it. Include goals, action steps, and resource allocation. 5. Reflection 
Reflect on this exercise to understand how prepared you are for future changes and where you might need to develop further insights or resources. Exercise 3. Innovation Idea Generation Objective. Foster innovative thinking to support your visionary leadership. 1. Idea Generation Session. Set aside time for an uninhibited idea generation session. Focus on how to improve or innovate within your team or organization. 2. No limits. During this session, dismiss any constraints like budget, resources, or feasibility. Allow creativity to flow freely. 3. Idea review. After the session, review the ideas generated. Now consider practical constraints and identify which ideas could be realistically implemented. 4. Develop an action plan. For the most promising idea, develop an action plan. This should include steps for implementation, required resources, and potential challenges. 5. Pitch your idea. If possible, pitch this idea to your team or superiors. Use this as an opportunity to practice communicating visionary ideas effectively. Through these exercises, you will sharpen your ability to think big, anticipate future changes, and inspire innovation within your team or organization. Visionary thinking is a skill that grows with practice and can become a defining characteristic of your leadership style. Chapter 6. Communicating with Impact In this chapter, step into the essential world of impactful communication, a cornerstone of effective leadership. Mastering the art of communication is much more than just conveying information. It's about connecting with people, expressing your ideas clearly, and inspiring others with your words. As a leader, your ability to communicate effectively is crucial in building relationships, guiding your team, and achieving your goals. Effective communication is characterized by clarity and purpose. Learn to articulate your thoughts and vision in a way that is both understandable and motivating. It's about striking a balance between being concise and being expressive, ensuring your message is not lost in complexity or ambiguity. Discover the significance of emotional intelligence in communication. This involves understanding the emotions and perspectives of your audience and tailoring your message accordingly. By communicating with empathy and awareness, you connect more deeply, fostering an environment of trust and openness. Explore the art of persuasive communication. Persuasive communication is about presenting your ideas in a compelling manner, influencing others not through coercion but through logical reasoning and emotional appeal. Develop the skill of crafting messages that resonate with your audience, encouraging them to see your perspective and join your cause. Recognize the importance of active listening in effective communication. Active listening is a powerful tool that involves fully concentrating on the speaker understanding their message, and responding thoughtfully. It's a key part of engaging in meaningful dialogues and building strong relationships. Learn to adapt your communication style to different contexts and audiences. Whether you are addressing your team, stakeholders, or a larger audience, understand how to modify your delivery and content to suit the situation and ensure your message is received as intended. Reflect on your own communication style and its effectiveness. Identify areas for improvement and commit to developing your skills. Effective communication is a continuous learning process and every interaction is an opportunity to refine and enhance your ability. Embrace the journey of becoming a leader who communicates with impact. Remember, the way you communicate can significantly shape your leadership and influence. Your path to mastering the art of impactful communication starts now, paving the way for more meaningful connections, stronger leadership, and greater success. Here are three practical exercises designed to enhance your communication skills as a leader. Exercise 1. Clarity in Communication Objective. Improve the clarity and effectiveness of your verbal communication. 1. Develop a message. Choose a complex idea or strategy that you need to communicate to your team or colleagues. 2. Simplify and structure. Break down this idea into simpler components. Structure your message with a clear beginning introduction, middle main points, and end conclusion. 3. Practice and record. Practice delivering this message aloud. Record yourself if possible. 4. Review. Listen to your recording or reflect on your practice. 
Assess the clarity of your communication. Were you concise? Did you avoid jargon? Was the structure of your message easy to follow? 5. Seek feedback. If possible, deliver this message to a trusted colleague or friend and ask for feedback on how clear and understandable your message was. Exercise 2. Empathetic listening. Objective. Enhance your active and empathetic listening skills. 1. Find a partner, partner with a colleague, friend, or family member for a conversation. 2. Active listening. Focus on listening rather than responding. Nod, maintain eye contact, and give non-verbal cues to show you are listening. 3. Reflect back. Periodically, summarize what the other person has said to show you understand. Use phrases like, what I'm hearing is, or, it sounds like you feel. 4. Feedback. Ask your partner for feedback on how well you listened. Were you attentive? Did you understand their points? 5. Self-reflect. Reflect on the experience. How did it feel to listen deeply? What did you learn about the other person? Exercise 3. Nonverbal Communication Awareness Objective. Increase awareness of your nonverbal communication and its impact. 1. Record a conversation. Record a video of yourself having a conversation or a mock meeting. 2. Analyze nonverbal cues. Watch the recording and focus solely on your nonverbal cues, your gestures, facial expressions, posture, and eye contact. 3. Identify patterns, note patterns or habits. Do you maintain eye contact? Are your gestures congruent with what you are saying? Is your posture open and engaging? 4. Seek feedback, show the video to a trusted person and ask for their insights on your nonverbal communication. 5. Plan for improvement. Based on your analysis and the feedback, identify areas for improvement. Create a plan to work on these areas in your daily interactions. By regularly practicing these exercises, you will significantly enhance your communication skills, making you a more effective and impactful leader. Communication is a continuous learning process, and the more you practice, the more skilled you will become. Chapter 7. The Art of Influence Dive into the dynamic world of influence in this chapter, where you'll explore how to effectively guide, inspire, and shape the perspectives of those around you. Influence in leadership goes beyond mere direction. It's about forging meaningful connections, crafting compelling narratives, and driving positive change. As a leader, developing your ability to influence effectively is crucial in achieving goals, rallying teams, and fostering a culture of collaboration and innovation. Discover the power of ethical influence. Learn how to wield influence responsibly, ensuring your methods and goals align with your core values and the greater good. It's not just about achieving objectives, but doing so in a way that upholds integrity and promotes mutual respect. Understand the intricacies of persuasive communication as a tool for influence. Develop the skill of crafting messages that resonate deeply with your audience, motivating and inspiring them to action. This involves a blend of logical argumentation, emotional appeal, and a deep understanding of the needs and motivations of those you wish to influence. Explore the role of empathy in effective influence. Empathy allows you to connect with others on a deeper level, understanding their viewpoints and concerns. This chapter guides you on how to leverage this understanding to tailor your influence strategies, ensuring they are not only effective but also respectful and considerate. Recognize the importance of building trust as a foundation for influence. Trust is earned through consistent, transparent, and authentic interactions. Learn how to establish and maintain trust with your team, peers, and stakeholders, enhancing your ability to influence effectively. Develop strategies for navigating resistance and conflict. Influencing often involves overcoming skepticism and opposition. Gain insights into how to address and mitigate resistance, turning challenges into opportunities for dialogue and collaboration. Reflect on your own experiences with influence. Identify your strengths and areas for growth in influencing others. Recognize that influence is a nuanced and evolving skill shaped by your interactions, successes, and challenges. Embark on your journey to mastering the art of influence. Influence is a key aspect of impactful leadership, 
enabling you to guide your team towards shared visions and goals. Your path to becoming a leader who influences with integrity, empathy, and effectiveness begins now. Embrace this journey and watch as your ability to positively impact those around you grows and flourishes. Here are three practical exercises to enhance your skills in the art of influence. Exercise 1. Trust Building Actions Objective. Strengthen trust with your team or colleagues, which is fundamental for effective influence. 1. Identify trust-building opportunities. Reflect on your current relationships with your team or colleagues. Identify areas where trust could be improved. 2. Plan trust-building actions. For each identified area, plan a specific action that could help build trust. This could be improved communication, delivering on a promise, showing support in a challenging situation, or openly admitting a mistake. 3. Implement the action. Over the next few weeks, implement these actions. Be consistent and genuine in your efforts. 4. Reflect and adjust. After implementing these actions, reflect on any changes in your relationships. Are people more open and collaborative? Adjust your approach based on the outcomes and feedback. Exercise 2. Persuasive Communication Practice Objective. Improve your persuasive communication skills, a key aspect of influence. 1. Choose a topic. Select a topic or idea that you believe in and want to persuade others to support. 2. Prepare your argument. Prepare a short presentation or pitch. Use storytelling, facts, and emotional appeal to make your argument compelling. 3. Present to a small group. Present your argument to a small group of colleagues or friends. Ask them to provide feedback not just on the content, but also on your delivery and persuasiveness. 4. Reflect and refine. Reflect on the feedback. What worked well? What could be improved? Refine your approach accordingly. Exercise 3. Role-playing resistance. Objective. Develop skills in handling resistance and using it as an opportunity to strengthen your influence. 1. Scenario creation. Create a scenario in which you need to influence someone who is resistant or skeptical. This could be based on a real situation or a hypothetical one. 2. Role play. With a colleague or friend, role play the scenario. Let them act as the resistant person while you try to influence their perspective. 3. Switch roles. Switch roles to understand the perspective of the person resisting. What are their concerns or objections? 4. Debrief and learn. After the role play, discuss what techniques were effective, what weren't, and why. Identify strategies that could help in real-life situations. By regularly practicing these exercises, you will enhance your ability to build trust, communicate persuasively, and effectively navigate resistance. The art of influence is a skill that evolves with practice and reflection, and these exercises are designed to help you on this journey. Chapter 8 Balancing Strength with Vulnerability In this chapter, embark on the delicate journey of balancing strength with vulnerability in leadership. This balance is crucial, as it allows you to lead with authority while also connecting authentically with your team. Strength and vulnerability are not opposing forces. Rather, they complement each other, creating a leadership style that is both commanding and empathetic. Understand the power of vulnerability in leadership. Vulnerability is not a weakness but a courageous openness that brings you closer to your team. It involves sharing your challenges, uncertainties, and even failures, showing that you are human and relatable. Learn how this openness can foster trust and strengthen relationships within your team. Simultaneously, embrace the role of strength in leadership. Strength is about showing confidence, decisiveness, and resilience. It's about being a pillar for your team, providing guidance and stability even in turbulent times. Develop the ability to exhibit strength, ensuring that your team feels supported and secure under your leadership. Discover the art of seamlessly integrating vulnerability and strength. This involves knowing when to show each aspect and to what degree. It's about being transparent about your limitations while also showing that you are capable of overcoming challenges and leading your team to success. Reflect on your leadership experiences and assess how you have balanced strength and vulnerability. 
Identify moments where showing vulnerability led to positive outcomes and times when demonstrating strength was crucial. Use these insights to refine your approach, ensuring that you strike the right balance in different situations. Learn to communicate effectively, embodying both strength and vulnerability. Communication is key in demonstrating this balance. It's about openly sharing your thoughts and feelings while also confidently conveying your decisions and plans. Embrace the journey of becoming a leader who masterfully balances strength with vulnerability. This approach not only enhances your leadership effectiveness, but also deeply resonates with your team, leading to a more cohesive, motivated, and loyal group. Your path to developing this balanced leadership style starts now, paving the way for a more fulfilling and impactful leadership experience. Here are three exercises to help you practice balancing strength with vulnerability in your leadership. Exercise 1. Vulnerability Self-Assessment Objective Reflect on your own relationship with vulnerability to better integrate it into your leadership style. 1. Reflect on past experiences. Think about times you've shown vulnerability in the past, both successfully and unsuccessfully. What were the outcomes? 2. Identify barriers. Consider what barriers prevent you from showing vulnerability. Is it fear of being seen as weak, uncertainty about how others will react, or something else? 3. Write a vulnerability statement. Write a statement about a personal challenge or learning experience that you feel comfortable sharing with your team. Ensure it's authentic but also appropriate for the workplace. 4. Plan to share. Choose an appropriate time and setting to share this with your team, perhaps in a team meeting or a one-on-one -on -one session. 5. Reflect on the impact. After sharing, reflect on how it impacted your relationship with your team. Did it lead to more open communication? How did it make you feel? Exercise 2. Active listening and empathy practice. Objective. Improve your ability to listen empathetically to your team, showing vulnerability in acknowledging and valuing their perspectives. 1. Active listening opportunity. During your next team meeting or one-on-one, -on -one, focus entirely on listening. Make a conscious effort to understand not just the words, but the feelings behind them. 2. Reflect back. Summarize what you've heard and validate their feelings or concerns. For example, it sounds like you're feeling. 3. Share relatable experiences. If appropriate, share a similar experience you've had, showing that you understand their situation. 4. Encourage openness. Make it clear that it's safe for them to share their thoughts and feelings. This can be done by thanking them for their openness and by not reacting negatively to what they say. 5. Journal the experience. Reflect on the experience in a journal. How did it affect the conversation? How did it make you and the other person feel? Exercise 3. Leading with empathy in decision-making. Objective. Practice involving your team in decision-making processes, showing vulnerability by valuing their input. 1. Identify a decision. Choose a decision that needs to be made, preferably one where you don't have all the answers. 2. Gather input. Bring the decision to your team. Be open about the areas where you are unsure and actively seek their input. 3. Discuss openly. Have an open discussion, considering all viewpoints. Show appreciation for their input, even if it differs from your own perspective. 4. Make a decision. Make your decision based on the discussion. Clearly communicate how the team's input influenced the decision. 5. Reflect on the process. Reflect on how involving the team and showing vulnerability in not having all the answers affected the decision-making process and the team dynamics. Through these exercises, you will develop a more nuanced understanding of how strength and vulnerability can work together in leadership. You'll learn that showing vulnerability not only humanizes you as a leader, but also fosters stronger, more trusting relationships with your team. Chapter 9. Continuous Learning the Leader's Path Embark on the enlightening path of continuous learning, a fundamental aspect of effective leadership. In this chapter, explore how a commitment to lifelong learning can profoundly enhance your leadership skills, adaptability, and overall effectiveness. 
As a leader, nurturing a mindset of continuous growth and curiosity is essential for navigating the ever-evolving challenges and opportunities in your professional journey. Discover the importance of cultivating a learning mindset. Embrace every experience, whether it's a success or a setback, as a valuable learning opportunity. This mindset is key to personal and professional growth, helping you to stay relevant and responsive in a rapidly changing world. Develop a structured approach to your learning journey. Identify key areas for personal and professional development. Set clear, achievable goals for enhancing your knowledge and skills and outline strategies for reaching these goals. This could involve formal education, self-study, experiential learning, or seeking mentorship and coaching. Explore diverse learning sources. Draw insights and knowledge from a variety of fields and perspectives to enrich your understanding and approach to leadership. This includes staying updated with industry trends, seeking feedback, and engaging in cross-disciplinary learning opportunities. Emphasize the role of reflective practice in learning. Regular self-reflection is vital in internalizing and applying the lessons you learn. Maintain a reflective journal, review your progress frequently, and adjust your learning strategies as needed. Foster a culture of learning within your team and organization. Encourage continuous development, knowledge sharing, and collective learning. By doing so, you not only enhance your own growth, but also inspire and empower those around you. Acknowledge the role of resilience in learning. Embrace challenges and setbacks as opportunities to strengthen your resilience and gain deeper insights. Resilience is a critical component of a continuous learning journey, enabling you to persevere and thrive amidst obstacles. Embark on your continuous learning journey with enthusiasm and dedication. Recognize that as a leader, your growth inspires others and contributes significantly to your team's and organization's success. Your path to becoming a lifelong learner starts now, setting the stage for a leadership journey characterized by growth, adaptability, and sustained impact. Here are three exercises designed to enhance your journey of continuous learning as a leader. Exercise 1. Personal Learning Plan Development Objective. Create a structured plan for your ongoing learning and development. 1. Self-assessment. Reflect on your current skills, knowledge, and leadership style. Identify areas where you feel you could improve or where you lack certain skills. 2. Set learning goals. Based on your self-assessment, set specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound smart learning goals. 3. Resource identification. For each goal, identify resources that could help you achieve it. These could include books, courses, seminars, workshops, or even people like mentors or coaches. 4. Action Plan Create an action plan detailing what you will do to achieve each goal, including timelines and milestones. 5. Review and Adjust Regularly review your learning plan. Adjust it as needed based on your progress and any changes in your learning needs or professional objectives. Exercise 2. Reflective Journaling Objective Enhance learning from daily experiences through reflective practice. 1. Daily Reflection At the end of each day, take 10-15 minutes to reflect on the day's events, focusing on your leadership experiences and decisions. 2. Journaling In a journal, write down the key experiences of the day. Reflect on what went well, what didn't and why. Note any lessons learned or insights gained. 3. Actionable insights. Identify any actionable steps you can take based on your reflections. This might include things you want to learn more about, changes you want to make in your leadership approach, or ideas you want to implement. 4. Weekly review. At the end of each week, review your journal entries to identify patterns, areas for improvement, and progress towards your learning goals. Exercise 3. Learning from others. Objective. Expand your learning by gaining insights from others. 1. Identify learning partners. Choose colleagues, mentors, or industry leaders from whom you believe you can learn. These should be individuals who display qualities or skills you admire or possess knowledge in areas you want to develop. 2. Engage in learning conversations. Arrange to have conversations with these individuals. 
prepare questions in advance related to their experiences, challenges, successes, and learnings. 3. Active listening. During the conversations, practice active listening. Focus on understanding their perspectives and insights. 4. Reflection and application. After each conversation, reflect on what you learned. Consider how you can apply these insights to your own leadership practice. By regularly engaging in these exercises, you will foster a habit of continuous learning, self-reflection, and growth. Remember, leadership is an evolving journey, and staying committed to learning is key to staying effective and relevant in your role. Chapter 10. Legacy Shaping Your Enduring Impact In this chapter, immerse yourself in the concept of legacy, an integral aspect of your leadership journey. Legacy is about the enduring impact you leave behind, shaped not just by your achievements, but also by the values you uphold, the relationships you nurture, and the changes you inspire. As a leader, your legacy is a reflection of your influence and the difference you make in the lives of others, your organization, and the wider community. Consider the depth of your leadership impact. Reflect on how your actions, decisions, and leadership style affect those around you. Think about the culture you contribute to and the example you set. Your legacy is built daily through your interactions, your commitment to your values, and the way you inspire and empower others. Define your desired legacy. What do you want to be remembered for? Is it the success of your projects, the growth of your team members, or perhaps the positive changes you've championed? Clarify what matters most to you and envision how you can manifest these priorities in your leadership. Live your legacy every day. It's about aligning your daily actions with the long-term impact you wish to create. Your legacy is not just a distant goal, it's a present reality being shaped with each decision and action you take. Be intentional in your approach, ensuring that your leadership consistently reflects the legacy you aspire to leave. Embrace the responsibility of shaping future leaders. Part of your legacy is the influence you have on the next generation. Invest time in mentoring, coaching, and supporting others in their growth. Share your knowledge, experience, and wisdom, helping others to develop their potential and continue your positive impact. Reflect on the broader implications of your leadership. Consider how your leadership extends beyond organizational boundaries. How can you contribute to your industry, community, or global issues? Your legacy can include the wider impact you have on society and the ways you inspire positive change. Embark on the journey of crafting your leadership legacy with purpose and passion. Your legacy is a testament to your life's work and the values you embody as a leader. It's about making a lasting, positive impact that continues to resonate even after you have moved on. Start shaping your enduring legacy today and leave a mark that truly reflects who you are and what you stand for as a leader. Here are three exercises designed to help you build and reflect on your leadership legacy. Exercise 1. Legacy Statement Writing Objective. Define and articulate the legacy you want to leave. 1. Reflect on your values. Take some time to think deeply about your core values and principles. What matters most to you as a leader? 2. Envision your legacy. Imagine looking back at the end of your career. What do you want to be remembered for? Consider the impact on your team, organization, and broader community. 3. Write a legacy statement. Based on your reflections, write a statement that encapsulates the legacy you aim to leave. It should reflect your values, your impact, and how you want to be remembered. 4. Share and get feedback. If you feel comfortable, share this statement with a trusted colleague or mentor and get their feedback. Is it aligned with how they see you? 5. Review regularly. Keep this statement somewhere you can see it regularly. Use it as a guide for your daily actions and decisions. Exercise 2. Impact Mapping Objective. Identify and plan how to create a positive impact in line with your desired legacy. 1. Identify key areas. Choose several key areas in your professional life where you want to create a lasting impact. These could include your team, your organization, your industry, or your community. 2. Map your impact. For each area, map out how you can make a positive impact. What actions can you take? What behaviors should you model? What changes can you drive? 3. 
Action Plan Develop a concrete action plan for each area. Set specific goals and timelines. 4. Implement and reflect. Start implementing your plan. Regularly reflect on your progress and adjust your actions as needed to ensure they align with your desired legacy. Exercise 3. Mentorship and Passing Knowledge. Objective. Begin actively shaping your legacy by sharing your knowledge and experience. 1. Identify mentoring opportunities. Look for opportunities to mentor others in your organization or industry. This could be formal mentoring programs or more informal relationships. 2. Engage in mentorship. Start the mentorship journey. Share your knowledge, experiences, and insights. Focus on helping your mentees develop their skills and careers. 3. Reflect on your experiences. After each mentoring session, take time to reflect. What did you learn about yourself? How is this experience contributing to your legacy? 4. Expand your influence. Consider other ways to share your knowledge and experience, such as speaking at industry events, writing articles, or participating in community projects. By engaging in these exercises, you actively shape and refine the legacy you will leave as a leader. Remember, your legacy is built day by day, through every action you take and every decision you make. Make them count towards a legacy that truly reflects your values and aspirations. Conclusion As you reach the conclusion of this journey, you stand at the threshold of a new era in your leadership. Lead like a quality man. The Ten Pillars of Masculine Leadership has not just been a guide but a mirror, reflecting the profound potential and responsibility that lie in your hands as a leader. You have traversed through the tenets of integrity, empathy, resilience, and more, each pillar laying the foundation for a form of leadership that is as rare as it is necessary in today's world. This journey does not end with the closing of this book. Rather, it marks the beginning of a deeper, more purposeful path in leadership. The pillars outlined here are not mere concepts. They are beacons that will guide you through the complexities and triumphs of your leadership voyage. You are now equipped with the tools to build not just a career, but a legacy one marked by strength, wisdom, and a profound impact on those you lead. Embrace the mantle of leadership with a renewed sense of purpose and responsibility. The qualities of a quality man in leadership are needed now more than ever in your teams, in your communities, and in the wider world. The path to great leadership is often challenging, but it is within these challenges that your true strength and character will shine brightest. Carry forward the insights and lessons you have gleaned from these pages. Let them shape your actions, decisions, and the way you influence the world around you. Be the leader who leads not just with authority, but with compassion, not just with strategy, but with heart. Remember, the journey of leadership is a continuous one, filled with lifelong learning and growth. Keep these pillars close to your heart as you forge ahead, creating a path that others will aspire to follow. Your journey as a quality man and a transformative leader does not just end here it truly begins. Go forth with courage, conviction, and the commitment to make a difference, leading like the quality man you are destined to be.